this week on Passing It On Outdoors. Hey, you don't want to miss today's show. We've got Kristen, Ryan, his son, Joel, a crazy preacher man named Bird, and we're chasing a buck named Bob. Passing It On Outdoors is brought to you by Agri-Supply, more than a farm store. Carolina Cooker, a tradition born in the South. James River Equipment, serving the Carolinas with 30 full-service locations. Black Widow Deer Lures, it's simple, they work. Sniper Hunting Products, take your hunting to the next level. Antler Extreme, Mark your spot with the X. And hands of a sportsman. Inspire, motivate, overcome. All right, you ready? All right, Father, first of all, we just bless you for this day, God. It is such an awesome day simply because your word tells us it's the day you made and we're to rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, I'm so happy right now. I could do the happy dance and probably will do the happy dance here in just a little while. Because, Lord, we're going to go ahead and claim success for Joel, Lord, and we pray that you'll bless him in mighty ways. Lord, Lord, I pray that um, that this day will be a day that he'll remember for a long, long time, God, and that uh, also he'll, he'll um, just praise you and bless your holy name for putting us in the right place at the right time. And Lord, if it be your will, we want him to smoke Bob like a peace pipe at a powwow. All right, so today's hunt is with Ryan and Joel Shadow. And uh, we met them two or three years ago at a disabled hunt and been fortunate enough to put uh, Joel on his first doe. Um, and uh, we've, we've tried to get him a buck before, just never, never quite sealed the deal. But today is the day. We got a buck named Bob and all he needs to do is show up. No shortage of animals to look at this evening. We, we saw plenty of does, several small bugs, even saw a few turkeys, but we just uh, were waiting on one specific buck. And, and uh, Bird told us, he said, look, you can shoot whatever you want to, but there is a buck that's been coming in there every day. And if it was me, I'd hold him off, and that's what we're gonna do. You know, when I was a kid, my dad and I went to Agri Supply every single week, just the two of us. Now it's trips with my boy that I have to look forward to. AgriSupply has over 26,000 products for your farm, shop, and home, including ag and tillage, lawn and garden, trailers and truck accessories, hunting and cooking supplies, and over 250,000 mower blades, just to name a few. Now, over 53 years later, the company has grown, but one thing hasn't changed. 
and that's the way they do business. AgriSupply still believes in old-fashioned friendly customer service and offering quality products at the most competitive prices. I guess you could say it's a family tradition. Visit your local AgriSupply for all your farm, shop, and home needs. Or visit online at www.agrisupply.com. Most everyone has a childhood memory of watching their grandma cook fried chicken in her cast iron skillet. There was just something about that skillet that made grandma's chicken better than anyone else's. Those who are lucky enough to inherit grandma's skillet understand that family heirlooms such as this are truly priceless. Carolina Cooker offers a full line of cast iron and enamel cookware, fryers, burners, and more. Visit www.carolinacooker.com and start your own family traditions today. The closer you get to home, the more you know the commute is worth it. For all the work you pour into this place, you sure get a lot more out of it. You and that John Deere tractor, so versatile, you can keep dreaming up projects all the way home. It's a longer drive, but just like a John Deere, it's worth it. Nothing runs like a deer. Hurry into James River Equipment for the model year end clearance event. Save $2,000 now through June 4th. Visit jamesriverequipment.com. Passing it on outdoors is also brought to you by Lucky Buck Minerals, bigger bucks guaranteed. Hunter Safety Systems, saving lives is what we do. Jarrett Rifles, the most accurate rifle in the world. Ben Pearson Archery, rebuilding the legend. Carolina School of Broadcast, measure success one graduate at a time. And the Cowden Plantation, a true Southern hunting experience. The video goes off, right? Uh -huh. Not five minutes later, deer starts strolling by. All of them. All of them. <laughs> he said, all, all of them. <laughs> How many? Not the all of them. <laughs> to shoot at that they wanted me to shoot at but I saw this one buck I had the head start, all started on I was like going crazy and the crosshairs on him didn't you I was about to shoot him but somebody <laughs> said for me to wait somebody somebody who who my dad he said for me to wait for the big daddy <coughs> so anyway I was about to shoot him what's the bug's name that you're looking for say what what's the bug's name that you're looking for god what's the bug's name bum Bob! <laughs> yeah, so we're looking for him. Hopefully he'll not show up. Alright, so we, we gave Ryan a, a pretty hard time about holding Joe off on them bucks yesterday. Joe Joe really wanted to shoot one of them bucks and, and like I said we're holding off on Bob but uh, everybody when they heard Ryan would let him shoot was giving him a pretty hard time. So um the, the deer start coming in that morning, and uh, there's a, a fairly nice buck in here, so uh, I think Ryan felt bad enough he's going to let him try to squeeze off on this one buck. Get ready. Don't put your finger on that trigger until it's time. All right. Wait a minute. All right. Wait a minute, Joe. You see him? You want him? He's by his tongue. You want this guy? Are you on him? Thank you. 
all things work together for good to them that love God, to those who are the God according to his purpose. Do you love the Lord? Do you think he loves you? Do you think he, he's going to withhold any good thing from his children? No. He's going to take care of you. You miss that book. So why does Whitetail Edge use Black Widow deer lures? It's 100% pure Whitetail deer urines. It's never brown or broken down. Black Widow deer lures are always fresh, collected and bottled within 24 hours of collection to guarantee freshness. So why should you use Black Widow deer lures? Because it works. Visit www.blackwidowdeerlures.com. When you think about it, you are a lot more predictable than you realize. We do the same things at the same places at the same times, with no second thought. We're creatures of habit, but fortunately, so are they. This is where your favorite pastime meets a new era of hunting technology. You might not get to spend as much time on your favorite spot as you'd like, but with the all-new line of cellular trail cameras from Sniper Hunting Products, you never really leave. Sniper Hunting Products. Antler Extreme Nutritional Deer Products exclusively uses G4 technology. G4 technology specifically formulated to help fight against ticks, gnats, flies, and other disease-carrying pests. All-in-one complete nutritional deer feed. Power Crunch Concentrated Feed Additive. Crater Maker Premium Mineral. Don't take my word for it. Mark your spot with the X. The hands of a sportsman is making dreams come true and providing opportunities for people both young and old with disabilities that present challenges for them to enjoy the outdoors. In short, we're creating an advantage for the disadvantaged. For some, if not all, the great outdoors breaks the struggles of everyday life and provides opportunities we all need. To become a mentor, a volunteer, or to donate, log on to handsofasportsman.org and help make a difference today. Here at AgriSupply, we stock tanks from 25 up to 10,000 gallons for various applications. Whether you need a large or small, horizontal or vertical tank, we got the tank for you. Visit one of our eight retail locations or agrisupply.com. All right, so we, we're just making sure we got all our, our ducks in a row here. We get Joel to the range and let him shoot a few times just to make sure the gun is on and, and it sure enough is on. So. Uh, we all know the reason Joel didn't shoot that deer. He wasn't supposed to. He's he's uh, he's supposed to get Bob, and uh, we're going we're going to get back after him. We're going to get out in the blind and and uh, wait on Bob to show up. Insert into lock. Slide the half inch bolt back. Oh, push the gate. Do not enter. All right, so Bird is our guide on the on the Sawtooth Oak Farm hunt, and um, I, he, he, believe it or not, Bird's got his own congregation. He's a preacher. I personally don't know how he holds it together because I'm I'm pretty sure that he's a few Coca Cola short of a six pack. Hey, Chris, we're gonna, we're gonna do a wind check, okay? Look, it's going that way. <laughs> Got anything to do with us being on the golf cart? Not a thing. So the first evening we held Joe off and, and gave Ryan a pretty hard time about it and, and, the, and the next morning uh, Joe misses his deer and uh, this last evening in the hunt got a lot of deer coming in uh, and not sure whether Bob's going to show up or not until we look up, old Bob's coming down the hill. Okay, that's a good time Bob. Joe, 
that's a good size blow. Take a look. You don't need to look. You just need to pay attention. Ready, John? You might need to put that tripod this way. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Take your time. Just be gentle. Squeeze. You gotta hear the story. You gotta go crazy. You get here. Well, you get here. You gotta hear it. Both of them. Bob to the left. Right? Yeah, kind of. Where's Bob? I know it was Bob. Where's Bob? Well, <laughs> hey, it's getting dark. Tell me, hurry! Come on, spit it out, okay. like Henry. When I shot that buck, when I shot, I went boom. He jumped, ran. He's got to be dead. I got him in the shoulder good. You got him in the shoulder good? I know it. Look, I literally on. cried my heart. Come on, tell us. How good is it? That's a wide bit, right? I know it. I'm going to mount it. Hey, oh, he's going to mount it? Oh, he's hey, going to mount it. How jacked up are you right now? Jacked up Dude, enough to eat him? My pants. <laughs> <laughs> we got blood right here. Ooh, we got guts. Hey, blood all over this. Burr. What's that up there? Oh, Look man. at that. Woo, baby. Yeah. You hear him scream? <laughs> and they got, hey, they, they got that on the YouTube, baby. We're gonna put that, we got that on the, I mean, the GoPro. You wanna bring him too, or you wanna Yeah, we're gonna bring it to him, yeah. Come on, baby. Joel, I'm putting the smack on him, boy. Bob down, Bob down, baby, Bob down. Bob, Joel, you got Bob. Perfect shot. Joel, look at this deer, buddy. Look at that buck, Joel. That's going on your wall, son. We gotta go on it now. Just hold on, I'm gonna take a picture and send it to her. So when you film in these hunts, you, you always try to get a, uh, an interview with, with whoever shoots at the animal. And uh, so I, I, I sat down with Joel on his first buck and in typical Joel fashion, he just took over and I, and I let him. And I want to say a few things too. Um, I just want to thank him to the sports event for, you know. <laughs> You know, bringing me down here. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but um, through God, through God. But it's it's a blessing how you know people don't usually like me. Kids don't usually get down here, and they're not able to get down here like me and hunt and be able to do the things I can do and have the great talent of hunting. But Hands of a sportsman here, David Heights, Finn, Kristen, all the buddies of my Hands of a Sportsman people have been able to get down here and <laughs> killed my first buck. So, who's ever out there that hasn't killed a buck yet, I hope y'all kill one sooner or later.
Hey, man. Hey. Look at me. I love you, man. I love you. This is going on my wall. <laughs> So it's four months later, and uh, instead of being at the Sawtooth Oak Farm deer hunt, we're at the Sawtooth Oak Farm turkey hunt. And uh, we're on the same farm that, that uh, he shot his buck, Bob, and uh, we got plenty of turkeys on this farm. We saw that during deer season. We just gotta get the right one to walk by. So we get settled in the blind and uh, saw several hens walking around and uh, bird told us at the beginning there was two or three birds on this farm that, that we could shoot and there was one in particular that, that was the big daddy. And we look over to our left, big daddy's standing there. So just like with the buck Joel missed, he was he, he thought it was over with. You know, he, he thought when we messed this bird up that, that it was a done hunt. But I, we, me and Ryan was talking to him and saying, look, we got plenty of time. And as we're trying to convince him that, that and maybe ourselves too, that, that we still had time, we look up, two birds are coming our way. Get on his neck, Ryan. You're gonna have to go out. Joe, there. you blasted that dude, man. <laughs> Look at that Jake. Get on his neck, Ryan. That's it, baby. Wow! How about that? Old Joel got his second turkey. You know, when I met Joel two or three years ago, he hadn't killed anything. Now he's got his first doe, his first buck. He's killed two turkeys. Um, and, and, you know, none of these hunts would be possible without the, all the people involved. Uh, Sawtooth Oak Farms has helped a lot with this. Uh, bird guiding us on, on a turkey hunt and a deer hunt. Man, it's, uh, it's a good thing to see this many people come together trying to help people in the outdoors. And if there's anything you can take away from this show is knowing that, that it, it just wasn't me and, and his daddy and Joel that, that did this. There's a, there's a huge group of people that's trying to get kids and, and, and adults alike in the outdoors. And so uh, that's really what it's all about, friendships in the outdoors. Don't miss next week's show. We're heading to Clay Road Farms. In my little world, Wahlberg, North Carolina, we're going to put three little girls on three turkeys.